Hey everyone, it is Scott Branson with Silver and Black today. Thanks for being with us. Listen, do me a favor, if you haven't already done it, subscribe right below, that's right, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos, including our Sunday live simulcast of our CBS Sports Radio Show. That's right, 8 to 10 a.m. Pacific time. Every week, every Sunday, we talk Raider football. Doesn't matter if it's the off season, there is no off season for us on Silver and Black today. In fact, this past week on our show, we had Mo Moten, of course, Mo's well-known writer for Bleacher Report, Fan Sided, NFL Insider, you name it, Mo's out there. He shared with us who he thought good targets for the Raiders would be in free agency. Who do you think? Well, here's what Mo had to say on the show on Sunday. Um, he said something that I thought was uh, pretty refreshing as he sticks to it, and I'll quote, he says, we're not looking to add players at the end of their career. We're looking for blossoming young players. Those guys usually don't hit free agency. Now, when he talks about those guys that usually don't hit free agency, he's talking about probably the Frank Clarks of the world, the Jadavion Clownies, the Demarcus Lawrence's. Those guys are probably going to get franchise tagged or get a long-term deal. But I think Gruden and Mayock will go after second-tier defensive ends, such as maybe uh, Trey Flowers, Dante Fowler Jr., he can even throw in Ezekiel Asa and Brandon Graham, who are older, but can still be productive in, in, a, in a role that they can suit in, in a system under Paul Gunther. And I think they can both have a kind of a re reemergence. Uh, Ezekiel Asa dealt, dealt with an injury last year, a shoulder injury, landed on IR. Brandon Graham, uh, not as effective as he was in the previous year, but again, I think he could be pretty effective. So those guys are, are people you want to watch out for. As far as safety position, I know Earl Thomas is probably – the top prospect at at a uh, at position, but um, a little older, but I think he still be effective. He led the Seahawks in interception before he got hurt, broke his leg. You look at Landon Collins, who reports came out cleaned out his locker, so he may not return to the Giants. You look at Hans Clinton Dix, who I've mentioned multiple times, Trey Boston. Those guys are all in play now. When you look at the Reggie Nelsons, the Frosty Ruckers, the Leon Halls, Clint McDonalds, they served their purpose. They probably they probably were there to teach the system to the younger guys, and now they can move on their way. Um, even if they do sign, they probably won't have huge roles. So we can just kind of scrap last season and look forward to the next season and the younger guys producing uh, under Paul Gunther, under John Gruden, having a pretty solid season. All right. Well, there you have it. That's what Mo thought. What do you think? Leave comments below. Let us know on Twitter at Silver Black, the number two day Silver Black today on Twitter. Tell us who you think the Raiders should go after. Big names, small names. In fact, there's a story up there on silverandblacktoday.com from Kelly Kreiner on some free agents you might not have thought about that might play into the Raiders' hand. Also on the show on Sunday, we had former Raider linebacker Kalen Burnett. That's right. Kalen played with the Raiders 2012-2013. Currently plays for the Arizona Hot Shots of the Alliance of American Football League. He shared with us what he called the best experience of his life. Probably the best experience of my life. You know, when I played that first preseason game, I was like, man, like, this is where it's at. Like, you know, Oakland was my first love. You know, when I got released from there, it, it really hurt me, you know. And, it, you know, it took me a while to kind of get myself back together because, you know, when I got released from there, it, it was from um, – I had my meniscus and all that, but, you know, once I recovered, you know, and recruited, got my stuff back together, you know, I, I was pretty fine. But, you know, playing in that silver and black, you know, it's, it's nothing like it, you know. And like I was, like you said, you know, I went on the other NFL teams and all that stuff, but, you know, the, the fan base that the Raiders have, you know, it, it's nothing else like that, you know. It, it's probably the best of the best. As Al Davis once said, once a Raider, always a Raider. Raider Nation for life for Kalen Burnett, as you can hear. Now, this coming week, another show. We have a good show coming up. Azeem Victor, former linebacker for the Raiders. He was the sixth round pick of John Gruden this past draft. That's right, 2018. Didn't make the team, bounced around a little bit with a couple other pro teams. Now playing for the old ball coach, Steve Spurrier of the Orlando Apollos in the Alliance of American Football League. Azeem will join us to talk to him about uh, his Raider experience under John Gruden and that team and what he's doing to get back in the NFL. Well, that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for watching the video and listening to the show. Make sure you, again, subscribe below. You can also subscribe to the podcast uh, feed. And the podcast feed has our radio show archive as well as our podcast when we do them. Podcasts more regular during the season, radio show all year round. Again, Sunday, 8 to 10 a.m., Pacific Time 
on CBS Sports Radio 1140 AM in Las Vegas or on the radio.com app worldwide. So if you don't have the radio.com app, boom, 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 get it on your phone, make sure you download it, and you can listen to us every week. For the entire crew at Silver and Black Today, I'm Scott Branson. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time.